Good evening, folks. This is Bill Breeden. Thank you for joining me tonight for Constellation Tour number 69. Tonight we're going to go over the constellation Lupus, the wolf. Lupus is located in the southern celestial hemisphere, um, just south of Libra and Scorpius. Um, and it's best to find, find it by looking between the bright star Antares in Scorpius and Alpha Centauri in Centaurus. Lupus is best viewed between May and July, and it is also best viewed from the southern hemisphere. So we have our planetarium software set up for viewing from Buenos Aires, Argentina on the 11th of June, 2021 at about 20 minutes after 10 at night. Lupus doesn't really have any bright stars, so it does present a challenge to find. So we're going to use some, some signposts to find it. Uh, we're, we're observing here from a moderately light polluted suburban location from, um, from the Southern Hemisphere. And we're looking south and Lupus is going to be really high up in the sky from Buenos Aires. So we're going to look really high up and we're going to look for Scorpius. And it's pretty easy to find by its J shape here and the red star Antares or Alpha Scorpi. Okay, then we're also going to look for the two bright stars here, Alpha and Beta Centauri. And here's Alpha and here's Beta. So if you look at the area of sky between Alpha Centauri and Antares, you're going to see a, a scattering of stars here that are about third magnitude. This, this area of the sky is where you'll find Lupus the Wolf. So let's go ahead and turn on our constellation lines. And you'll see here's Alpha and Beta Centauri. And up here you have Antares or Alpha Scorpi. And this group of stars right here between the two make up Lupus the Wolf. Now from the Southern Hemisphere, Lupus is depicted upside down. So let's have a look at the mythical figures. And you can see here, here's Lupus the wolf, and it looks like uh, Centaurus is um, in the process of attacking the wolf, as depicted in the night sky. So there are no bright stars in Lupus. Let's have a look at the constellation boundaries. And you can see here that Lupus is this area of sky right here, outlined by this boundary. And you can see Scorpius here next to it. So Lupus is a medium sized area of sky with a scattering of third and fourth magnitude stars. So it's probably better viewed from a dark location so let's go ahead and venture onto a dark site. Now it gets interesting. So let's see if we can find Lupus the wolf now. Okay, still observing from Buenos Aires. We're looking south from a dark location. And you see the Milky Way arcing high overhead. And we're going to look for Antares, this bright red star within Scorpius. Here's the stinger of Scorpius here, and here are the claws. And way over here, you see the two bright stars, Alpha and Beta Centauri. So just between Alpha Centauri and Antares, you have this group of third and fourth magnitude stars, giving you the area of sky where you'll find Lupus, the wolf. So 
So there are no real bright, outstanding stars in lupus. We've got alpha loopy here. It's a magnitude 2.3. We got beta loopy here, which is a magnitude 2.6 star. Gamma loopy here, which is a third magnitude star. And then you have this, this reddish star here. This is a double star. This is a magnitude three and a half. And then down here, we have zeta loopy. It's another three and a half magnitude star. So no real outstanding stars, although they are medium brightness. And there are a few double stars in this constellation. So let's start with Kappa Lupi. Let's use our trusty go-to scope. And Kappa is a 3.8 magnitude double star. Let's look through the finder scope here, which is which has a a field of an apparent field or a true field of view of about six degrees, which simulates the view through binoculars or through a finder scope. Let's see if this one splits in Stellarium. Yeah, this one does. It takes a little bit of power to split this one. Uh, the Kappa Lupi is 182 light years from Earth. So I have another double star here, um, Xi Lupi. This one is a fifth magnitude star located 200 light years from us. Here's the view through the finder. And looking through a nine millimeter eyepiece, Stellarium is just starting to hint of splitting. So we probably need to split this one manually with the software. There we go. Well, that's a nice double. And then I have Pi Loopy as another double star. This one's a magnitude 4.3 star located about 500 light years from us. Looks like Lupus is um, full of double stars. Stellarium doesn't split this one easily. But you might have better luck with um, an actual telescope and eyepiece. I do have a multiple star listed on, on my list here, and that's Mu Loopy. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. We have several groupings of stars in this area. Go ahead and go out with that. I love low power. You just get to see more. But um, this one is shown as a multiple star. And Stellarium listed as a double star, but I have it on my list as a multiple star. So you can see that there are other components. It looks like it's going to split further. Yeah, it does. So here's the actual double, and then it looks like, let's see. I don't see it splitting again, so I'm not sure why I have it listed as a multiple star. It looks like it is just a double, but that's fine. It may be these other stars near it are considered part of the grouping. 
So that's Moo Loopy. I have one deep sky object within the boundaries of Lupus, and that is an open cluster, NGC 5822. This is an open star cluster of magnitude 6.5, right in the band of the Milky Way. It's like a nice little sparsely populated open cluster. I'm not really sure you can see where the open cluster ends and the background Milky Way begins, but it is included here in Stellarium also. So through a low power eyepiece, that is gorgeous. You've got color showing up here. You've got some pale blue, some gold, some white. I love being able to see color through the eyepiece and open clusters usually don't disappoint. Let's see if we can find lupus again here. We're looking south in, in uh, mid-June from Buenos Aires. So you want to look high up in the sky for Alpha and Beta Centauri, and you want to look for Antares and Scorpius. And look at the area between the two. And that area of sky is lupus the wolf. So this concludes my tour of Lupus the Wolf tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. Good night and good seeing.